I'm Angie Zimmerman, the Flower Diva from flowerarranging101.tv. I'm showing you how to make a gardenia bouquet. In this part of the country, and I'm in California, we buy our gardenias in the box or by the box. And this is the smallest quantity that we can order. So it's three flowers in a box. You actually can buy boxes of 24 and boxes of 36. And you can buy a box of what's called work guards, which means that they don't have any leaves on them. Um, and I believe those come in a box of 48 to 50. These smell divine. However, I do know for a fact that in other parts of the country, you can actually order your gardenias on the stem. So I happen to have a, several gardenia plants here in my own backyard. They aren't blooming yet, but you can see where the flower is about to begin. So imagine, if you will, <laughs> that this flower is at the end of this stem. Now, one other thing I want to point out, when you order the gardenias, again, in this part of the country, um, by the box, they come with these leaves on them unless you order those work guards. This particular box came with artificial leaves. These are silk leaves. So if I turn this over, you'll see, you know, there's a little bit of plastic um, structure that the leaves have been taped to that's holding it all together. And that just slips over the bottom of that stem. So the other thing, if you notice, I'm being very careful not to touch the actual flower. Gardenias bruise and brown very easily, and there's something about the oil in our skin that will cause that flower to brown. So you might want to wear gloves when you're working with gardenias or just be very careful like I'm going to be. And again, because this does not have a natural stem, I have to give it a stem, and I'm going to do that by using wire and tape. So in this case, I'm using a thicker wire. This is an 18 gauge wire. And I'm going to um, insert this through the base of the gardenia. And then very carefully bend it like into a hairpin shape. Okay, so you can see how my wire is inserted. And now I need to tape this. And you're going to use stem tape to tape it. The stem tape does come in different colors and I'm, happen I'm using this light green. A dark green might work better. I find that for most flowers, the light green is the closest to the natural stem color. But every once in a while, that I'm proven wrong with that. And because this has the artificial leaves, they are a little bit darker. I don't think it really matters because this is not something you're going to see. But I just wanted to point that out in case it becomes a question in your head. Okay, and I'm going to stick it in the vase just so it stays upright. And then I'm going to remove my next two flowers. And I will repeat the process. Again, I'm using an 18 gauge wire. I'm inserting it through the stem, bending it in half like a hairpin, and then taping it. It's very important that you get this tape on tight. So I actually, I get it started and I, I'm pulling on this tape as I'm twisting the flower. If you were doing just these gardenias, if you were going to add any more greenery, you would, and then you would tape these stems together. But what I'm going to do is kind of a combination. We're going to pretend like we had some flowers on these stems, and I'm going to mix this with my actual gardenias. The best way for me to do that is to get the greenery in my hand the way that I want it to be, and then to insert those flowers. When you're all done, I then like to use, this is another bowl tape, not a stem tape, but a bowl tape. This is a stronger tape. It's the half inch green. It comes in white and it also comes in clear. And I use this to now bind all my stems together. You always wanna finish off your bouquet with a ribbon wrap. This is called a hand tied bouquet and this is just a double satin white ribbon. And I'm gonna literally wrap it around that little stem and I am leaving just about a half inch of those stems exposed and the reason for that is I'm going to put this back into the vase and I want those flowers to still be able to drink some water. These are essentially boutonniere pins that are only 
I'd say three quarters of an inch long, which works perfectly for finishing off a bouquet wrap. You could also make more of a decor decorative accent and put the pins all the way up and all the way down this wrap. Again, it's just a decorative accent. I'm Angie Zimmerman, the Flower Diva from flowerarranging101.tv. I just showed you how to make a gardenia bouquet.